Wakey, wakey, little red tractor. Rise and shine. Exciting news. Veronica is due to have her calf today, so I thought we'd take a drive out to Top Acre to see how she's doing. No sign of Veronica. No, that's a good sign. Cows often wander away from the herd when they're about to have a calf. Let's have a look up the top end. Shh, look, there she is. We mustn't disturb her. We'll pop back later and make sure she's okay. Son, how are you then? Shh. How are you then? I'm fine. Veronica is about to have a calf. We're trying not to disturb her. Oh, oh, I see. Well, don't you worry. We won't make a sound. Thanks, Stumpy. We'll see you later. <laughs> Gently now, Nipper. Let's not startle Veronica. Wow! <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Mr. Jones! Mr. Jones! Ah, morning, Stian. Going to chop down the old tree here for a bit of firewood. Can I ask a favour? Favour? Will it cost me anything? No, it's just that Veronica is about to have a calf. I was wondering if you could keep the noise down. Not a problem. I'll be as quick as you like. Right equipment for the job, you see. Thanks. Bye. said this old car would never run again. But Walter, the expert mechanic, has... ..has spoken too soon. Why, eh? Why do you keep doing this to me? Have I ever upset you? Have I? Hmm? Are you mooing at me? Oh, hi, Nicola. Huh? No, I was just... Uh... Yeah, broken down. How did you know? Now the car is making mooing noises. Uh, yeah. Well, I thought it was strange too. Here, can you come by and give me a tow? Yeah. Thanks, girl. Bye. That's it. It's definitely the scrapyard for you this time. And will you stop doing that? Hi, Stan. Hi there. I didn't expect to see you today. We've come to see if everything's all right with Veronica. As far as I know. It's just that we were worried. Worried? Whatever for? Well, we passed Top Acre and noticed the gate was open and we just... Open? Yeah. We thought that maybe there'd been a problem. There wasn't, but there may be now. Thanks for telling me, but I have to rush. I'll phone you later and let you know the news. I hope Veronica's OK. Stan Little Red Tractor will make sure she is. Don't worry. Stan didn't finish feeding the pigs. Come on, we can do it. Oh, no. Veronica has wandered off to be on her own. She could be anywhere. Come on, let's see if Mr Jones is still in the next field. Maybe he's seen something. Mr. Jones? Stan, any news about your calf yet? No, Veronica's gone missing. Don't suppose you've seen her, have you? No, been a bit busy. Worked quick, though, like I promised. Thanks. We'll go back up the other way. I don't suppose you're interested in buying... a few bits of firewood? <laughs> I can't understand it. They were strange sounds. It's a bit like mooing. Have you seen Veronica anywhere? Your cow? Yes, somehow she got out of Top Acre. She's expecting a calf any time. I'm very worried. Cow? Oh, I'm an idiot. A cow, 
of course. Walter? I thought the car was making mooing noises, but it must have been... Veronica. Veronica! Which direction did the sound come from? Oh, well, uh, you see, I wasn't really listening. I, I, I thought it was the car, you see. Tell you what, Stan. I'll go this way and you check back that way. Deal. Well, what about me? What about my car? The car can wait and the garage is unmanned. Could you wander back, Dad, and I'll come back for you as soon as we've found Veronica. Thanks, Nicola. Give me a call on the mobile if you see anything. Will do. This is all your fault. Making mooing noises. <laughs> what say we check the fields? Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Look! They look fresh. I'm sure these belong to Veronica. Come on, little red tractor. We'll follow them. Steady now. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Sorry, Stumpy. I don't suppose you've seen Veronica anywhere, have you? Uh, no, no. I've been busy fixing Nipper here. We had a bit of a ding with the gate up at Top Acre this morning. What time? Oh, I don't know. I'd just seen Stan and then we bumped into the... Uh-oh. Uh the gate! That's it! That's how she must have got out. I'm sorry. I, I didn't think to check the gate. Come on, I'll help you look. Oh, I'm hearing mooing wherever I go now. Hey, just a minute. That's coming from inside the garage. Oh. Veronica? Veronica, there you are. Now, don't you worry now. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, Stan's gonna be so relieved. Whoa! Walter, it's the strangest thing. I was just about to call you. We were you. following hoof prints, but they stopped just before the I garage. I found Veronica. You won't believe you this, You found but... her. Yeah, she's round the back, sheltering in a garage. Good as gold. That is a relief. Well, what do we do now? Nothing we can do but wait. You can't hurry Mother Nature. Shh! I haven't said anything. I only wanted some diesel. Shh! Veronica is in the bay waiting to have her calf. Yeah, sorry, but we're closed until the little one is born. Well, what am I supposed to do? You'll have to wait. I don't think it will be long now. You can't hurry Mother Nature. <laughs> oh, very well. Stan, it's all my fault. You see, I... Shh. What? You found her. Yes, she's in the garage here. About to give birth, I think. Oh, that's great news. So, what do we do now? We, we wait. wait. You, you can't, can't hurry Mother, Mother Nature. Nature. We may as well eat. I'll get some sandwiches. Ah, that sounds promising. <laughs> About my diesel? Hmm? What do you think this is all about? I haven't the foggiest. Hope it's nothing serious. Where's Mr Jones? What's going on? I think this pullover is shrinking. <clears throat> you don't think that something has happened to him? Mr Jones? Nah. I hope not. <laughs> Thanks, little red tractor. Right. I guess you're wondering why I've asked you all here. Yeah. 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 Well, it's exactly one year ago today that Mr Jones moved to Babblebrook. Wow! wow. Really? So I thought that perhaps we should throw him a surprise party. Yeah. 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 One year. One year today, Big Blue. Hmm. Yes, uh, I've really quite enjoyed it. I know. 
I'll throw a big party. I'll invite all my neighborhood friends. Yes, yes. What a great idea. I've just had a load of cakes and buns delivered at the shop. I'll bring them round. Oh, and I'll make one of my blackberry pies. We'll pick the blackberries for you, won't we, Ryan? Yeah. Little Red Tractor and I will give you a hand if you like. Hey, it's about time our band made a comeback. Well, oh, but we haven't played for ages. Yeah, well, when you've got it, you've got it. Look out! Here comes Mr Jones. Remember, everyone, it's a surprise party. Hello, all. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, can't stop. Catch you later. Wait up, Dad. Bye, everyone. But I... Uh... Come on, you two. See you later. Bye, little red tractor. Bye, everyone. Bye. See ya. Hmm. Guess I'll have to catch up with everyone later. Stan, you're having a bit of a do at my place tonight. Wondered if you could make it. Tonight? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr Jones. I've got plans. Really? Oh, well, never mind. Some other time. True. Poor Mr Jones. Perhaps we should tell him. But it is meant to be a surprise party, Stan. It's much better if it's a surprise. I guess you're right. Come on, then. Let's go pick some blackberries. Yeah! <laughs> Jones! What on earth is that racket? Uh, nothing. It's uh, uh, just the radio. Dad's got the radio on. Dreadful noise. Anyhow, just stopped by to see if you and Walter would like to come to a party at my place tonight. Tonight? Oh, I'm sorry, but we've already been invited to a party tonight. Oh. Uh, well, never mind. No, some other time then. Bye. Poor Mr. Jones. What are you doing? Um, nothing. Hmm. Suit yourself. Look, I'm having a bash at mine tonight. Wondered if you and Elsie could make it. Hmm? Tonight? Yes. No. Oh, sorry. Well, it's, um, it's quite all right. Perhaps some other time then, hmm? Oh, that was close. What was close? Oh, <laughs> oh, Stan, I almost spilled the beans. Almost told Mr Jones all about the party. Oh, I'm no good at keeping secrets. Now, where are my berries? Here they are, Elsie. We've got loads for you. Oh, wonderful. I'll be able to make quite a few pies with this lot. Little Red Tractor and I will come and pick you both up later and give you a hand with all those pies. Mmm. Ah, Walt! My word, you do listen to some awful stuff on that radio. Radio? No, that's Nicola. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, no, nah, no, nah. you're right, yeah. It's Nicola's radio. <laughs> it's terrible, ter it's terrible noise. Look, um, just pop round to see if you have any cakes left. Uh, nah. I don't think we have. Uh, I'll go and check. I'm sure there's something strange going on today. Here we go. Last one. Found it down the back of the counter. Uh, oh. Here, <laughs> yeah, you can have that on the ass. Thank you. I, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say a word. Now, I'd better get back to it. I'll see you at the pot. The, uh, see ya. There is definitely something not quite right around here. Oh, these smell gorgeous, Elsie. Mm. Here you go, Stan. Now be careful. This is a highly tuned instrument. Oh, I can see it is. <laughs> here we go. Who needs other people? This will be a marvellous party. Just one more. Ah! Ooh, two more. Ah, yes. 
All set. Ready when you are, driver. Hope you're feeling strong, little red tractor. Well, OK, then. Let's go. We'll go and fetch Mr Jones while you all finish up here. One, two, three, four! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> Still got it. <laughs> I don't know what I was worried about. Mr Jones, glad I caught you. I need your help back at Gosling Farm. My help? Oh, well, I was right in the middle Please. of... Please, it's very important. Um, oh, very well then, yes. I can't wait to see his face. <laughs> he will be surprised. Oh, oh, here they come. What? Uh, Stan? What's all this? Surprise! <laughs> Well, today is a very special day. It is one year ago today that you moved to the village. Oh. You... You remembered. We thought we'd throw you a party to let you know that you're truly welcome here. We've even written a special song! You can call a home a home, a home when, when you're feeling all alone. Having good friends is the key. You'll never be on your own. Mr. Jones, we all agree. You're part of our family. Our family. I... I'm really touched. Thank you. Thank you all. You're, you're more than welcome. welcome. Glad, you're here. Glad you're here. You know, I I really am grateful for all the help you've given me, and I owe a special thanks to you, Stan, and Little Red Tractor. Hooray! It's been a pleasure. I don't suppose you know a song about good neighbours, do you, Walter? Nah, but we do have something about a very helpful tractor. You know the one, guys? Yep. yep. Let's, Let's go! go! Little Red Tractor, he's king of the field. Getting his jobs done with Stan at the wheel. He's not the biggest, but he's a hero. Little Red Tractor, woo! Let's, Let's go! go! Yeah! <laughs> Hi, Stan. Hi, Little Red Tractor. Hey, what's that you've got, Stan? Just a little something for Amy. Is she around? Yeah, she's here. But I don't think she'll want to drink that. <laughs> She's not going to drink it. It's for her marrow. And I want you to grow even bigger and stronger. We're going to win the best marrow prize at the fete, aren't we? I hear talking to your plants helps them grow. You were talking to your marrow. But this'll help even more than talking to it. It's my special homegrown plant food. My dad taught me how to make it. Great! Thanks, Stan. Look, Morris. Look at what Stan's brought us. Morris? <laughs> Girls are weird. <laughs> this year we're going to win, aren't we, my beauty? Look out! I won't win anything if you skateboard all over my marrow. Sorry, Uncle Jasper. Well, not to worry, Thomas. No harm done. But if anything happens to my marrow, I couldn't bear a repeat of last year. Stumpy beat me to the first prize of the fate. It was terrible. But this year, my marrow will be the talk of Babelbrook. Mm-hmm. Here. Yeah. Whatever. Hello there, Elsie. I've got some corn for Stumpy. He around, is he? Oh, he's around, all right. But you won't get any sense out of him. Nothing new there, then. <laughs> oh, Stan. He's round the back, looking after his marrow. He's hoping to win the prize again this year. Afraid I won't be. Not this year. Looks pretty good to me, Stumpy. Uh, <laughs> would have been a winner, I reckon. 
But something's had a go at it, see? Looks like the birds round here have got a taste for marrow. Well, never mind. We've still got some rehearsing to do, remember? Oh, yes, that we have. <laughs> rehearsing? Rehearsing for what? Oh, you'll see. See you later. Ah, good man, Thomas. Now let's have that water over. Whoa! Da -da -da -da. Look out! Oh. Sorry. It was heavy. Well, yes, well, no damage done, thank goodness. Ah, Stan, hello there. <laughs> Careful! What? My marrow! There's no way I'd beat Stumpy's if you jumped on it, is there? Sorry, but there's no way Stumpy's is going to beat yours. What? How do you mean? Stumpy's marrow's out of the competition. Attacked by birds or something. <laughs> oh, dear. That is a pity. Poor Stumpy. <laughs> well, Thomas, it looks as if you're in with a very good chance of winning. Unless... Oh, what if those birds come and attack my marrow? Or what if it wasn't birds at all? What if there's a marrow mangler out there damaging people's marrows? Oh, dear. Well, thanks for the warning, Stan. Very good of you to come all this way. Oh, that's not why I'm here, Mr Jones. I came to remind you about the rehearsal. Rehearsal? What rehearsal? Well, Stan and I and, um... It's a secret, remember? Oh, yes, a secret. But you'll find out soon enough, Thomas. Right, Stan, let's get on with rehearsals. Uh, d oh, but my marrow! I don't want to leave it to the mercy of, um, of whatever got stump is. Well, why don't you put a box over it? That should keep the birds off. Ah, but what if it isn't birds? What if it's the masked marrow mangler of Babelbrook? Masked marrow mangler? A good idea, Stan. <laughs> I'll put a box over it. And I'll go and fetch Walter. See you later. Bye, Stan. Just tighten this up a little bit and then we'll start her up. Are you sure that's right? Last time you did that, the engine blew. Oh, yeah, but last time I was working on the other spark plug. Hi, Nicola. Walter about. <sighs> Does that answer your question, Stan? I think so. <laughs> oh, really thought I had it that time. Yeah, well, I said, didn't I? Smart, Alec. Oh, hi there, Stan. Hello, little red tractor. Just pop round to see how you're sorted for a spot of rehearsing. Oh, yeah. Great. I was getting fed up tinkering with the old banger anyway. Rehearsing? You two haven't joined the Babblebrook Amateur Dramatic Society, have you? Nah, nothing like that. So what are you rehearsing? You'll see. So long as you come to the fete, that is. Oh, we wouldn't miss it for the world, would we? Well, Big Blue, I thought you did very well. Rehearsals went like a dream, and tomorrow, <laughs> Babblebrook won't have seen anything like it. Ooh, my marrow! I nearly forgot. There, a spot of nice fresh air for you. Night, night. See you in the morning, and then first prize, eh? <laughs> oh, what if there's a marrow mangler on the loose? There! Now, oh, don't worry, my beauty. Nothing's going to get you while I'm here keeping an eye on you. The mangler. I want me. I have the biggest mirror. No more chisel. Just thank you. I'd like to thank myself on behalf of everybody here for my first prize in the biggest mirror. Excuse me. I'm just going to die. So, Stumpy said it was birds, did he? Well, tell me that was done by a bird. No, that's not the work of birds. It looks as if someone's trampled all over it. Exactly. The mysterious marrow mangler of Babblebrook. And what's more, he pinched one of my shoes. If I ever get my hands on him, I won't answer for the... For the for... <laughs> this is not a laughing matter. Someone has dealt a mortal blow to my marrow. And he's sitting right there. What? What are you... Stupid thing. Look, 
See those footprints and that trail of sandwich crumbs and your shoe? You mean it was me? You must have been sleepwalking, Mr Jones. Oh, sleepwalking? Oh, not again. They say eating cheese before you go to sleep gives you funny dreams. Oh, I knew those cheese sandwiches were a mistake. Oh, come on, cheer up. There's always next year. And we've still got a little surprise for everyone, haven't we? Yes. Yes, we have. W w what is it those actor types say? The show must go on. That's the spirit. Come on, little red tractor. Let's show everyone at the fate what we're made of. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we come to the main event at this year's Babblebrook Fate. Prepare to be thrilled and amazed by the daredevil skills of the Babblebrook Display Team! Red tractor? Yeah! Oh, Stumpy! I can hardly bear to look. Aha! So that's what they were rehearsing. Oh! Ooh, cutting it a bit fine there. Wow! Oh, Uncle Jasper, way to go! Well done, little red tractor. You're the best. He certainly is, Stan. And I have to say, that little display almost made up for not winning the best marrow prize. You hear who won it by any chance? I did. Me and Morris. Morris? Well, with a little help from Stan and his dad's plant food. Well, I never. Well done, Amy. Well done indeed. But you'll have me to beat next year. Are you doing another show next year? What do you think, Little Red Tractor? <laughs> that sounds like a yes to me. 